ISTP. I worked with the Angus King campaign for Senate. I was basically motivated to join this campaign because I really love politics. With Olympia Snow dropping out of the race, I thought this was actually a great opportunity because of how much national recognition uh, this campaign is getting. So while I was there, I did lots of things. I was not above doing the grunt work, such as uh, addressing letters or uh, doing database entry. There's also a lot of um, in-depth like policy research. Um, we created a database for um, of all the main state legislators that had been in office. Uh, researched the Affordable Care Act and how it affected Mainers. Um, and he would use that information to further his own understanding on the topic and help him make uh, educated um, decisions for policy. So then we went this week to Augusta to deliver the signatures that uh, we had gathered. And a normal candidate needs 2,000 signatures to be put on the ballot. An independent candidate needs 4,000 signatures. And Angus King had gathered 6,500 signatures. He brought them up to Augusta. We went up to that rally, and there was a bunch of people up there, standing room. Uh, and, in there, and when he was there, he gave a speech. What Angus King said I thought was really profound, that uh, Congress right now is broken. It's not fixed and you need someone to fix it. And Mr. King isn't so naive that he thinks he's just going to walk in there and all of a sudden everything will be great because he's an independent. But he wants to go there and actively work and bring compromise back into the equation. And I thought that was a really good point because compromise is basically the center of our government. Republicans are they're coming into office running on campaigns of like no taxes, like always like saying no to Democrats and then Democrats are running campaigns like saying like we're gonna bring money to to healthcare here we're gonna bring money to infrastructure so when they get to Washington it's just they're kind of butting heads I really do think he's the right person for Maine his being separate from the two parties is is just perfect I met Mr. King two or three times during the course of the week took some pictures with him he shook my hand said hey like how's the process I mean he was just really personal and that meant a lot to me